Jeremiah 27 throws us right into the middle of a difficult and somewhat strange command from God to Jeremiah. This is what the Lord said to me. Make a yoke and fasten it on your neck with leather straps. Imagine being told to wear a wooden yoke around your neck, walking around as a symbol of your country's defeat and submission to a foreign power. That's exactly what happens to Jeremiah. And it's a pretty good example of how God sometimes asks us to embrace tough truths or go through challenging seasons all for a purpose that we may never fully understand at that time. But here in Jeremiah 27, God's not just giving Jeremiah a difficult task. He's also sending a message to all the people that the time has come to submit to Babylonian rule. It's a hard pill to swallow, acknowledging that sometimes God's plan involves walking through periods of hardship and surrender. But why would God ask this of his people? It's all about trust, trusting that even in the toughest times, God has a plan and his plans, although they may not always be easy, are ultimately for our good and his glory. It's a reminder that God's perspective is so much greater than ours and sometimes what we see as defeat, God uses as a setup for a greater deliverance. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. This verse it doesn't promise that things will be good, but it does assure us that God is able to work through all things for our good. So when we face our own yoke bearing season, let's remember Jeremiah's obedience and the call to trust God, even when his plans are hard for us to understand. God is always working, even in the midst of challenges, leading us towards his perfect will and purpose.